Hi, I'm Michael Morton, Vice President of Sales for EMC Security. I've been in the security industry since 2003. And since EMC Security only covers Georgia, I have friends and family from around the country that ask me, what should I be looking for in my security company? I'm going to tell you the same thing I tell them. So the first and probably most important thing to consider is, you should know who you're buying from. The company should be trustworthy. They should have an established brand. You should be able to look them up online, look at their reviews and see how they treat their customers. Do they respond if there is an issue? No company's perfect, but every company should have the responsibility to treat their customers well. So once you've found a company you think is trustworthy, it's important to note that there's no regulation, there's no training required for someone to become a security consultant. So the person coming out to see you at your home or giving you consultations over the phone may not know any more than you do about security services. So test their knowledge, ask them how long they've been in the industry, and ask them if they know any other products than the ones that they sell. The ones that they sell may not be the best for you in your home. So next you want to determine what's best for your home. Is it a hardwired system, a wireless system, or a self-install system, something you can do on your own? Some homes are already equipped with pre-wire in the walls, in which case you'd want to have a hardwired system installed. If not, a wireless system may be the best option for your home. And then of course there's a self-install, which will also be a wireless system that you would put in yourself. The next thing to consider is what add-ons or upgrades do you want as part of your security system. One thing we always recommend to customers is getting fire protection, a smoke detector or a heat detector or both that are monitored by the security system. A lot of customers think they may not need it, but for the cost, it's well worth it. And at EMC Security, if you add fire to the system, it doesn't add anything to your monthly cost. Knowing how the system is going to communicate to the central station is also important. You have three options. You have the option of having the system communicate using a cellular connection, using an internet connection, or using a telephone line. Or you can bundle them to have multiple communication paths. That's always going to be more secure, but every piece may add additional cost. And for you techies out there, there are options to have your security system automate your home. Control lights, control locks, control thermostats, control your security system from off-site. And for those of you looking for a little more technology, your security system in most cases, without any additional equipment, can control things like lights, locks, and thermostats right from your smartphone. You can even set up automated scenes for your home. This really does bring your home to life by allowing it to turn lights on and off all by itself lock and unlock doors, even control an overhead garage door. These convenience items are important for a lot of our customers and they are available to you as well. And what most of you have probably been waiting for is cameras. Cameras are available and there's another video that we have that talks specifically about the camera options. I'll touch on it quickly here, but look at that video for more information. There's indoor, outdoor, and doorbell cameras. There's cameras that have two-way audio allowing you to speak to and listen to who's in front of the camera. All these camera options are available to control and view through your smartphone. Now it's important to remember that cameras are not a security system. It's great to view live video and it's great to go back and look at video that's been recorded. Even if there is an event, you can go back and see what happened. But they don't call for help, so make sure you arm your security system. Last thing we're going to talk about is the cost of a security system. It's important to note that there are two costs, the cost of monitoring and the cost of equipment. If a company tells you that the equipment is free or that it's $99, it's not. They're rolling that equipment cost into the monitoring contract and they're charging you for it every month. And that cost never goes down. What you want is a company that will tell you what the equipment cost and the monitoring cost is. That's a company you can trust. So those are some basics to consider when you're buying a security system. We've covered a lot today. If you have additional questions, visit us online at emcsecurity.com or call one of our specialists at 770-963-0305. Thanks.